I'm going to keep this fairly short because I'm <coughs> losing my voice apparently. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Um, this is a brand new Filofax Pennybridge pocket organiser. Can't wait to open it actually. I'm intending to use this as a wallet so I'll be very interested to see how it looks. It didn't come in a box, it came like this with the felt covering and it's got the plastic bit. So there we go, there's that and there is the penny bridge. Ooh, it's a pretty colour. It's like cranberries. It's beautiful. It feels really nice too. For some reason I thought it was going to be material. I don't know why. Maybe it's material inside. It's soft and squishy but it's still quite rigid. It's, it's good. It's about the size of a, a small A6 notebook. Uh, obviously because it's zipped it's a little bit bigger than your average pocket but it doesn't have the annoying clasp and everything does have an exterior pocket which is very handy for me anyway because I, I use the bus and I'm always losing my bus tickets so I can put them in there and they'll be easy to access so let's have a look nice leather tab on the uh, keyring doesn't have a Filofax F on it but that's okay it's got the Filofax F on the back there inside. Um, these I've seen other videos and apparently they do lie flat after a while but initially when you get them they don't lie flat. Um, but I can feel it's you know it's very soft and pliable I don't think it'll take much to get this to you know it's not rigid or anything. Um, it's nowhere near as rigid as my domino. It's quite flexible actually. So I'll certainly be able to um, train it to lie flat. It's the pocket edition, so inside it's got the standard set, I think. So it should have a week on two pages, 2014 diary with the small weekends. It's got four tab dividers, blank. It's got to do's, pink, yellow, blue, lavender, note paper. Not an awful lot of note paper. Uh, and then a big stack of address pages. But they're not the sectioned off address. Why don't I just take that off? <laughs> they're not the sectioned off address pages. I could actually use these for notes. I prefer these because you can use them for note pages. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. I write very small, so I can usually write two lists on these pages, uh, and I'll just white out where it says addresses. That's not a problem. So there's the lavender, the blue. Looks like two sheets of each. Yeah. Woo. How <laughs> terribly generous. Two sheets of each colour. Oh, I've got peach as well. Oh, well, two sheets of five colours. It's a bit less stingy than two sheets of four colours. The pink's nice. And then you get one, two, three to-do lists, which are double-sided. And a black ruler. Don't like the black rulers, but never mind. Ah, plastic flyleaf, good. Always useful, because that's why... That's one of the things that I need to use it for. But you, like I say, you can always use these. These are almost the same material. You can use these to make your plastic fly leaves. And a top loading envelope. So that's good. Rings seem fine. That snags a little bit on that bottom ring. But I think that's because it's so stuffed, to be honest. It really is chock-a-block. And I won't carry nearly this amount of stuff in it, paper-wise. Because for a start, I only carry three months of diary. So... And I may not even carry diary in this one, actually. Um, but I think I can... It is very slightly out of whack, but 
I can fix that. That's I've had that happen before. They're not pulled apart, they're just slightly skewed. They're like that, instead of being like that. But they're not like that. That is difficult to fix, but that can be fixed. Uh, pen loop, elasticated pen loop, fully elasticated pen loop. That's good, that means a big pen will fit in it. With a lot of pockets, you can't fit a big pen in them. Yes, that fits. Let me find something comparable that you would recognise. Um, how about a micron? That's quite a big, thick pen. Annoying to get in because it's got a ridge on it, but yep, that fits quite well. I think my Lamy would fit in there even. Oh. Oh, it's just a little bit of loose lint. That's okay. It's not broken or anything. So it's got a pocket at the back here. Uh, nice big pocket. Nice big pocket you can get into. None of this one finger diving kind of rubbish. So that'll be useful for receipts. And then at the front, this is why I wanted it for a wallet, because look at this. I'm going to bend this back just so you can see it a little bit easier on camera this has there's a oh there's a sheet there protect sheet protector there oh that must be protecting that bit of leather from the zip so we've got a pocket here with one two three full length pockets um i would have preferred if they'd been car credit card size but obviously that's not feasible in a pocket so i get that that's okay this is a really nice kind of canvassy feel to it as well. It's nice. It's got a zip pocket here. Zip works fine. So it'll be good for change. Nice and easy to get into. And no gap here, so no coins falling out. It's got a duplicate pocket here of this one. So it's got another pocket there with one, two. Oh yes, obviously, because this is the, the top part. Uh, yeah, one, two pockets there. And it's got one full length pocket, two, and then three. So this you could use for like stamps and stuff. So that is my pocket penny bridge. Now, I've got this one because I've been using a Lux Compact. Uh, as a wallet and I do like it but these pockets are driving me crazy because they are so tight that it's so difficult to get anything in and out of them like literally it's really really hard I'm wor constantly worried about snapping my cards or something I saw the penny bridge and I thought well should I get the personal penny bridge or the pocket and I looked at the dimensions and I thought well a pocket is going to be about that big, much bigger, if you look at the gap around the pages, it would have been, because these are almost flush with the, the leather, it would have been about that long, which is a bit too big for a wallet for me. So I went with the Penny Bridge pocket, and actually I'm glad I did. This is going to take over from my little Midori, because much as I love my little Midori, it's not working as a wallet for me. It just isn't. If things keep falling out of it and I keep forgetting to close the purse part and then everything falls out. Whereas with this one, if I forget to close that purse part, I've got a zip there. And when I open it, everything will be like in the pockets as opposed to all over the place, all over the floor. So, yeah, I'm swapping to this. And I've also, I've treated myself. It's my Christmas present, so I'm allowed. <laughs> I'm not spending money I don't have, I'm spending my Christmas money. Uh, I've also bought the Penny Bridge matching this, the red one in A5, which is the one with the iPad holder. Now I don't have an iPad, but I do have an Android tablet, um, and they look to be about the same dimension. It looks like it'll fit, and even if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, because I just want it to be an organiser and a case that I can take apart. So. Anyway, I'll, I'll review that when I get it, but yes, this is my 
lovely penny bridge pocket I really like this this is perfect and it's a good size as a wallet as well I'm pretty sure if you had a small phone it would fit in there I don't think mine would fit in there I've got a, a Galaxy Note and my phone itself is that big so I, I don't think it would fit in that pocket but if you've got like an iPhone or something that would fit easily I'm fairly sure my my phone would fit in this pocket here quite easily so not overly keen on the layout of the diary I live for the day when you can buy a file of facts and tell them what inserts you want I really do I, I would be happy to wait an extra week for postage if it meant I could decide what inserts I wanted but you know a full di full year diary is a full year diary isn't it I'm not gonna turn my nose up at it at the very least it's note paper uh, but I'm going to be using this for my wallet and for my shopping and notes and lists and uh, my GTD um, catch-all. So this will pro I will probably take the diary out. I don't think I've got much use for the diary. I might leave it in like a, m a month at a time just so I know appointments and things but I probably won't bother. Um, oh, it's got a it's got a black fly leaf as well. How interesting is that? And it's got the file effects logo. I thought that was just a piece of paper, but it's not. It's actual film. Well, that's good because I can put that one at the back so it protects that. <laughs> and I can put the plastic one at the front. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably take this out and replace it with note paper. Um, and then I'll have my notes, my lists, my shopping and my GTD catch-all but I'm liking it I'm liking it a lot actually I love it I love the feel of it it feels nice it feels good quality I mean it's one of the cheaper end organizers but yeah it feels really nice quality I like it and I'm glad I got the red I am denied for ages about whether I was gonna get the red or the purple but I'm glad I got the red so yeah I can't wait to get this set up now so I'll show you what it's like once it's set up it won't be that much different um, but you know everybody's always curious I know I like nosing in other people's fire faxes so that's what I shall do I shall do a video when I've moved into it <laughs> 